Hi everybody. Um, I'm doing a um, video because I want to share with you uh, the content of my upcoming class called uh, Light, Law, and Love, The Power of Choice, How Choice Works. <clears throat> my thought, there's so much to describe in this class. And then I thought, you know what, rather than get into all of that in this first video to you, I thought I would share with you how I come to decide what I'm going to teach. Because I'm at this age in my life where I feel like what I want to teach has to be of value to you. It has to <clears throat> somehow or other make your life better. What is it that I feel is urgent for me to share as I look ahead realizing that I've spent nearly 40 years teaching and it's shorter ahead of me than behind me. So what are the jewels? What is the best of what I can give? And so I oftentimes spend a long time looking at what I've learned and extracting the jewels. And so I'll tell you this, as, as, as a medical intuitive and as someone who then spent a long time in healing, What I have learned is that this is an era, we are a species that is driven by the need to understand our own power. And whether, whether it's self-empowerment, self-development, self-help, self-esteem, the inner self, self-healing, the self has taken a new place in the development of human beings. But why? Why? What is it about this pursuit of our inner power that has become the focus, the obsession, the imperative in personal development? And it's really all about choice, the choices we make, about who has our power, about how we use our power. And, and truly, truly, the, as I look at the management of health, as I look at the management of what causes a person to fall into despair or depression, what causes a person to become gridlocked, like they can't move forward. It's because we know how powerful choice is, but we don't know how to use it. We don't know how to... Um, take on the consequences of the power of choice. We oftentimes want someone else to ensure that the choice is going to work out a certain way. And the more I looked into the power of choice, the more I realized that the ingredients that make choice so powerful holds the key to understanding the nature of the soul and the nature of God. And that these three forces are essentially light, law, and love, which I'm going to explore at great length in this workshop. That light, just to, to put it in briefly, that light, when I use the word light, I am referring to not just light as a physicist would understand the organic light, but, but the whole spectrum into energy and into mystical light, which is the content of the soul. That this, we've entered the era, the age of light. We connect to light, the internet, the first thing in the morning. We are actually in the age of light. And when we think of our health, we include energy, which is light, in terms of where's your light. But we actually have not explored what it means to understand how light really works and how our choices impact the flow of light through us. What it means when we're out of light. What it means to shine your light upon another person 
and how powerful that is. In order to understand you, yourself, as a being of light, it requires you understand how the laws work and how intimately connected you are to the laws of the universe, the mystical laws, the laws of creation, that every choice you make engages your light into cause and effect, action and reaction, the law of sensation, the law of creation, that we are, that this is the playing field of God. This is how God works, light, law. And finally, this, what I call love. <clears throat> and I don't mean that in any any way, romantically or personally, I mean it cosmically, that love is the life force. Love is the force, the name that we give, <clears throat> that I use, I think, I think, that love is, we are, we gravitate toward love, toward being loved, toward needing to love. How can you live? I, I used to have I lost my, my little doggy. Maybe some of you have seen my doggy in uh, Abby in my videos. And she passed away in January after 15 and a half years of being my little canine companion. And so I thought, well, <clears throat> um, I will get over that, which is really hard to do. And then I'm wandering around this house that felt vacant because there's no target for love. I've got, I've got to, I've, I can't, I can't cuddle a coffee cup. So I'm getting a new doggy. I'm getting a new puppy. And she arrives the day this course begins, April 12th. How about that? <clears throat> but what is love? That is one level of love. The fact, my point here is that not having something to love makes us feel dysfunctional, makes us feel like, what am I going to do with this? And I found myself, get this, I found myself walking in the neighborhood. Everybody here where I live is a dog person. Like gushing over people's dogs in an embarrassing way and thinking, pull yourself together. But that's the nature of love in a small way. But it says we have to utilize this force and it's, and it's directed by the choices we make. And the choices we make are determined by how we understand the purpose of life, our place in life. And that determines the vibration of light that shines within us. This is the nature of God. And the power of our choices, the more light, the more love, the more light, and then how the laws work. I cannot wait to teach this class. I can't wait to teach this class. I mean, I am thrilled to teach this class because I feel like it is a course that empowers you. And if ever, ever, my God, ever, there was a moment where your empowerment should matter to you, and what you could do to for others, it is now. So please join this class. And, and at the end of every class, we'll do a little group light share together. It's not a bribe. I do that anyway. But I just, I want you to experience how incredibly empowered you are and what it means to shine your light upon so many others and the power of the choices you make and how they do matter in this world and in your life. Okay, so we're off to the races. It's April 12th to 28th and the information's on my website and I'll probably do a few more videos between now and then, but I just wanted, I was eager to introduce this. So I'll see you soon.